maximum likelihood estimates of two different models that are nested can be compared using the likelihood ratio test. The idea is the same as in a regression analysis and the f-test. So in a f-test in a regression analysis we have two models. One is the constraint model and another one is the unconstrained model. Here model two is the more general unconstrained model and model one is a special case of model two because we get model one from model two by saying that these regression coefficients that are estimated here are actually zeros in model one because we don't include these variables. Then we do some math, we calculate uh, the sum of squares or r square of these models, we compare that to decrease of freedom, we get the statistic that follows the f distribution. In maximum likelihood estimates, we don't have the r square, we don't have the sum of squares, instead we use the deviance statistic. So here in Kramer's paper, we have uh, two models. So model one is the constraint model, model two is the unconstrained model because we have this coefficient here that is estimated here it is constrained to be zero. So we have one degree of freedom difference between these two models. Then we can calculate the likelihood ratio test of whether adding this one more parameter increases the model fit more than what can be expected from by chance only by using by comparing these uh, deviances or minus two times local likelihood. So model two is the unrestricted model, model one is the restricted model. We calculate the, uh, the difference between uh, the model deviances which is 3.79 and that difference follows the chi-square distribution with one degree of freedom because there is only one parameter difference here and the p-value for that would be 0.05 which says that there is uh, no statistically significant difference between the models that's on the, on the border of 0.05 level and uh, it's also shown here that this is not very very significant here. In contrast to F's test which always if you have one parameter gives you the same exact p-value as t-test these statistic they are significance test statistic here from z test and uh, the likelihood ratio p-value they don't necessarily have the exact same value because uh, these are based on large sample approximations that may not work as exactly as intended in small samples. So there can be some scenarios like here we have a significant coefficient p is less than 0.05 but here we don't, we have p that is uh, more than 0.05, but it's on the boundary. So we could just say that uh, there is weak evidence for the existence of these relations.